You know those gifts that I keep on opening up before like a top five? Well, I'm not going to do it this one because I'm going to do it live. They're out there piling up, okay? So I'm going to do it live like I did last time because that was so cool. So we're going to go straight into the video of today. After yesterday's epic alien and UFO video, mate. I love that. And thank you so much for the, the kind words, all right? You absolute legends and welcome to the new subscribers. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper site today. We are looking into the realm of the paranormal. <laughs> okay? And this one is called Five Scary Ghost Videos to Stir Up Your Amnesia. No? To Stir Up Your Insomnia. <laughs> and this is a channel, a fantastic channel, with 306,000 subscribers, okay? The channel is Depth of despair make sure you go to his channel subscribe and do the thing okay right without further ado dar diddly day let's do this Shh. go on then it's of despair Shh. come on the barn the barn whitney is a barn worker who works at a barn taking care of many different horses <laughs> Whitney is a barn worker working in a barn. <laughs> really? Thank you. <laughs> ben is a YouTuber. He makes YouTube videos. And today, he's making a YouTube video because he is a YouTuber. <laughs> Come on! After spending some time working there, everything seems fine and she enjoys working with the horses. Mm. But eventually, some strange unexplainable things have started to occur. Things that even the horses themselves can't ignore. The barn location is supposedly built over grounds where two Native American tribes fought over in the past. And also, it was built on a graveyard. <laughs> it all started one day while she was recording herself going to play with one of the cats. When something creepy is captured, watch closely. Mm. Lenny, Lenny, hey, you really shit. What the fuck? That was up here. Mate, it's like that film Bloody Hope, isn't it? Is it Hope? No. No, it's Nope. It's like that film Nope. But nope, nope, like the film, nope, eh? <laughs> Kit and some other objects fall on the floor on their own, and when she puts them back up and walks away, they fall off again, causing her to get scared and leave the area. On another day, mm. she goes out to lead the horses back to the barn, when something chilling can be heard. No, these horses are so freaked out, they're blindfolding themselves. Heard in the distance. Sorry, sorry, that was really bad. Come on! sound like a baby you heard it too didn't you oh my goodness gracious me mate oh hear that baby 
Sounds like a baby laughing can be heard coming from somewhere in the woods, but it doesn't stop there. On another night, she comes to lead two of the horses when they all stop and hear it. Oh, my. Daddy. Hey. Oh no! Oh no, no, no! No! No, no! Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Look at the chicken! Look at the chicken skin! At first we heard a baby cry like, <laughs> oh lovely and, lovely and dozy, right? I don't know what dozy is, but it's lovely and dozy. And then we go straight from the other end of the spectrum to... <laughs> Ooh. A disembodied voice can... Hear it again. Shush. I'll shut up this time. <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't be fucking having that, mate. I wouldn't be having that. Oh, God. A disembodied voice can be heard saying, hey... And immediately the horses stop in their tracks along with Whitney oh. herself. And a few seconds afterwards a disturbing laugh can be heard. <laughs> oh mate, that makes me want to throw up, man. God. Whatever it was, it's scary enough that even the horses were too disturbed to move. The next day, one of the horses saw something that caused it to start behaving frantically in a panic. You gotta calm down. I ain't taking you out like that. Oh. I don't know what you see, but you gotta calm down, bud. There's nothing over there. Oh my god, mate. You can't fake this sort of stuff, mate. The horse starts pacing around in the stable and then stops and stares, off in the same direction, as if it is afraid of something it sees nearby. Oh. On another night, all of the horses start acting up and seem to be completely terrified, running around and not listening. So Whitney has to spend most of the night guiding them all. Knowing that something is off, she begins to record as she makes her way back. This is what she captured. Oh, mate! Come on! I am fucking okay. It's a fucking alien! It's an alien, mate! I've got aliens on the brain right now, mate. I'm being connect- Oh, God, it's an alien or a shadow bastard? One of the two, but it's white. It's a white bastard. What the hell was that? Oh, no, 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 no. Listen. Did it say help or ha- Oh my god! Well, no way, mate. This video clip is absolutely incredible. It's incredible. Looks like a white figure can be seen within the darkness, along with a creepy voice. Afterwards, at first I thought this specific capture was just a tree and a case of pareidolia. However, if you listen to the disembodied voice, it sounds like it says, "How did you not see me?" Although, no, it doesn't. No, it no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It gets quieter after the first word. Listen closely. Shush. Oh my god! Oh my god, mate! How did you not see me? It's like... How 
How did you not see me? Ah! Oh God, mate. Imagine that fucking shadow bastard there. Spirit bastard, ghost bastard, alien bastard. How did you not see me? How did you not see me? Oh God. Fucking hell. Can we not just take a minute here, but guys and girls, I'm not sexist. This makes me think that perhaps she did indeed capture something lurking in the dark, or something was watching nearby. The very next morning, the creepy activity gets worse. It gets worse! She hears the radio in the horse barn turn on by itself. Oh, mate, I, I had a, a fucking hi-fi just like that. It was epic. So she decides to record. Mate, you've got aliens. Mate, I'm telling you, I know. Listen, 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 right? I know that I've been starting to say a lot of things about aliens at the moment, okay? Because it, what I'm saying is, I watched the X-Files last night again, okay? And Mulder and Scully are going in the car and the electric's cut off, okay? It's quite... And he says, it's a known fact that when aliens are about, your electrics go funny, mate. Look what's happening here. It could also happen with spirits as well, ghosts, but maybe there's a connection. Maybe there's ghosts and aliens and there's a connection. Oh. Jesus. Hey. Oh. Nah. <laughs> Mate, I'm gonna be out of there like a shot. I'm sorry I keep on fucking pausing it, all right? The radio turns on by itself out of nowhere. What's worse is that it begins to get distorted and starts changing on its own, as if something is causing an electronic interference. And some viewers pointed out that it sounds like the song lyrics says somebody murdered us. No, 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 After it stops, a voice says hey, and then two bangs are heard on the wall. And that's when she decides she's had enough and just up and leaves. But as she goes to check on the horses, she hears this. Oh, mate. Footsteps are heard coming from within the barn, even though there's nobody else around. On another snowy night while watching one of the horses, this happens. My God, and that, that <laughs> horse is like, motherfucker, I'm gone, I'm gone. Eyes. A voice in the distance can be heard which completely startles the horse and scares it away. Keep in mind Whitney says that these horses typically don't scare easily, but as the horse runs away, a pair of eyes emerge from the darkness just watching her. Now at this point Whitney is convinced that a skinwalker or some other entity is watching her, especially at night time. So she uses a night vision camera to observe her surroundings when she captures something undeniably terrifying. A dark shadow figure can be seen watching from far off in the distance, 
Could it be what's responsible for all the creepy activity and for scaring the horses? Let me know. What? What did I just witness? What did I just see there? Huh? The abandoned school. I got a funny feeling. I know what this one is. The abandoned school. Chris from the YouTube Urbex channel Hill. Urbex Hill yeah. set out to explore an abandoned building in Cleveland, Ohio. I've seen this one, but we're, we're going to go with it anyway. That shut down when there wasn't enough students enrolling into the school, leaving the place to be abandoned. The location surrounding the school was once safe grounds, but as time goes on, the level of violence increases. Just recently, around nine months ago, a 16-year-old teenager unfortunately lost his life in a shooting right on the front doorsteps of this very same school. Previously, we saw the first part of this exploration. Oh, so this is the second part? I've not seen this bit, mate. Okay, 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 this is good. ...where Chris captured a dark shadow yeah, moving by on his infrared running, like, camera. The speed of me and, and after Usain noticing Bolt. a big metal grate that has moved places, yeah. he believes that someone is present in the building. Despite this, he continues exploring anyway, Ooh. and after exploring the underground levels, he captures something awfully disturbing. Take a look. Oh, shit, look. It's like blood on the floor. Oh, mate, that's, that's fresh blood too. Oh shit, there's a bunch. Oh man. This. Oh, it's a trail of blood. Oh mate. That's oh crazy. what's that? What <laughs> Would you go in there that says six six six? <laughs> Would you go in there, mate? I fucking would. I'd rambo the shit. What the hell? I would run through that glass. Boom! That's vandalism. Army roll into it and... It's fire. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. Is this real? What the fuck? Don't look up. Bro. It's on the f and everything. What? Yeah, yeah. Don't look up. This can't be real. Crazy. That is. I put six 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 on the door. What that does look real. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't. Oh shit. Yo, there are bullet cases. Oh, mate. He shot himself in the ass. At this point in the video, some additional narration is required. You see, unfortunately at this exact moment, my camera stopped recording, but I immediately noticed and pressed record to continue filming. I also want to point out that normally in a situation like this I would have remained calm, but after hearing the stories of the murder that took place here and seeing what looks like blood and bullet casings on the floor, I decided to leave instead of investigating any further.
Somebody's in there. Oh. In the lower levels of the building, Mate. he finds a fresh blood trail leading to a door. What was that? What was that? Was that a bag of bollocks or something? What is that? Leading to a door that says 666. After entering the room, he discovers more blood along with a shoe and some bullet cases. Did you know that's why we uh, have 999 for emergency calls, right? Because on the old telephones, you would, you, you would turn the nine and it would go to six 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 you know that thank you or if you're american nine one one they're an american with casper sight hey mom there is an emergency here at this location can you call nine one one we need to call nine one one for our emergency nine one one A few seconds later, he hears some noises coming from the next room, along with a voice. And after, what he saw on the floor, along with hearing about the teenage boy who lost his life here, he makes the wise decision to not proceed any further and just leave the building. What makes this even more creepy is that if we listen to the voice that was heard, it very clearly says, I am bleeding. Listen. This oh, makes you wonder if someone hey. was actually in need of help around the corner, or if it was just a trap to lure you in, or perhaps something more sinister. Mate, if I was bleeding out of the ass, or wherever he's bleeding from, I would be like, I am bleeding. I'd be like, I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding, mate! Because at the same time, one of the infrared cameras set up around the building captured something chilling. Did you see it? No. The mirror seems to be reflecting this area of the wall here. Yet in the reflection we can see a creepy figure moving across that seems invisible on the actual path. The oh. camera also captured a strange smoke anomaly coming from the same area. So just what exactly is lurking inside? Mm. I think the stuff found in the building clearly suggests that another person was in there with Chris. Oof. But it also seems as though something more sinister is roaming the same building. Oh, mate, that's horrible, man. The place. That's horrible. If you have any video recommendations, mm. you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. The, the wardrobe. wardrobe. A man named Leon owns a clown doll, which may not seem all that creepy to some, but he says a few nights ago something happened. For some reason, he doesn't want to go into detail on the incident, but he explains that as a result of it, he decided to move the clown doll into a closet in one of the rooms. He wanted to dispose of it, but it's an expensive collectible, and his family doesn't want to get rid of it. So it remains in the closet. But one day, he randomly notices something creepy going on with the closet, so he decides to record to see if he can capture it again. Me voy de char. Me voy de char. Voy a, voy a, voy a abrir el, el rapero. Not wanting to see the activity, oh, his wish he opened up the other door. Mum asks him to close the door. He then explains to her that the creepy doll is causing some activity that is disturbing the house and wants her to let him get rid of it. So he comes back to record some more. Mala noche, sí, tiene más actividad la noche. Bueno, vamos a abrir a ver qué. Ahí se mueve. Ya viste? Ahí como que. Open up the other side of the door, mate. Sí. 
Bueno, pero tengo que abrir los cajones para que To be fair, if there was somebody in there, stood in there, right? <clears throat> um, you wouldn't be able to open those drawers unless there's another piece of wood at the base here. But a lot of well, would they? Yeah, they would. They would have another piece of wood at the top there. Forget what I said. Carry on. Que hay ropa, que no hay nadie que pueda meterse adentro y vamos a abrir. That's it. That's it. Oh, mate. Acá está el payaso. Para él no le gusta estar ahí. As you can see, the wardrobe rattles and moves on its own as if someone was trapped inside trying to get out. And occasionally, you can hear movement coming from within. Leon then goes around to show the back, showing that the wardrobes are fit tight against the wall, and his hand can't even fit through the gap, so there's no chance a person could be behind it. He also shows the drawers attached to it to show that there's nothing that could explain what's going on. We all know that dolls are creepy, especially clown dolls, so hopefully his family made the right choice to get rid of it. Yeah! Haunted painting. A woman found a strange creepy painting on the wall in one of the rooms of her family's house through a crawl space. One of the kids already says that he talks to the painting and its name is Gilbert. Gilbert? What's eating Gilbert great, mate? What the actual F? I think I've seen this one though. You're my best friends. Where did he come from? I don't know. I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, it. is Gilbert friendly? Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because I don't pray. Oh, God. Because I don't pray. Huh? What? Oddly enough, a few days later, she captures her niece talking to the supposedly haunted painting. Mate, I'm not having that. No effing way. These strange what? events seem to go on for a while as her niece slowly gets more and more addicted to talking with the painting or whatever is in the room known as Gilbert. On another day, she can be seen talking with Gilbert once again, saying he can't touch cold things. He can't touch cold things because he's the sun. Do you like popcorn? Things start to get weirder when she captures her niece singing songs about the sunshine while banging on the floor. Sunshine on a rain. I see it in the darkness. I see it in the light. Make me feel, make me feel like I belong. Good tune. Let's carry on. Looking for something. Okay, they, she chose a different song, whatever. Yeah, it's also a good one. After waiting for her to go to bed, they investigate the area and discover that one of the floorboards is loose and decide to see what's underneath. Looks like it comes up. This could be an eyeball or something. 
Oh, mate. You got wires going in. You got wires going out of your skin. After opening oh! it, they discover a Ouija board. <laughs> How convenient! A Ouija board! <laughs> which says Gilbert on the With the sun! Oh, maybe on the other side of the room is the moon. And has a picture of the sun on it. After questioning her niece as to how she knew there was something around there, she responded, Gilbert told her because the floor was wobbly. Told me because the floor was wobbly. Mm, it's still kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit wobbly. Mate, I wouldn't get walk on that oh, yeah, floor with bare feet. Stuff, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> What was what? that? Shush! It's a bit wobbly. Oh yeah, because there's like holes and stuff, isn't there? Yeah. Whoa. Did you get Whoa. Unknown breathing too, like, no. Oh my god, did you hear that? Whoa. Did you get Whoa. Oh my god, did you hear that? It's okay. It's okay. Gilbert's friend. Toys in the room sometimes start to. Like, I, I, like, there's part of me that hopes that's real. I don't. I basically, I don't like children around this sort of stuff. Go off on their own, but stops when you enter the room. Like, I just don't want the girls to have little nightmares and stuff about this. They then investigate another crawl space in the house and find a matching painting of a moon called Gloria and I knew a creepy it. doll. They hang the painting of the moon next to the sun and leave the doll on the shelf. Late one night. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If I, I uh, if the girl said, like, oh, come on, we're going to have fun. We're going to make a, a TikTok video. It's about spooky, ghosty, roasties, you know, and stuff like that. We're going to do this. Then I suppose that's all right. But... If they're, if this is a practical joke on her, and like, and she doesn't know about it, I don't know. I think that's a little bit. It, it can really scare a little girl, a little boy. It can scare any little child. They are woken up to some strange sounds coming from the room with the paintings, only to capture something utterly terrifying. What in hell? Hey, kick that down! Tearing sound. Jesus. What? Hell, man. After hearing banging and tearing sounds, she enters the room to find the painting mysteriously on the floor, with the doll on top of it, and nobody else is inside. After this, her family wanted to get rid of all the dolls, yeah. realizing that they must definitely be haunted. But just what do you think? Mm. Is there too many dolls in the house? Yeah. Meaning a haunting is bound to happen? Or is it all just an intricate ruse? Mm. You judge. The scream. This next video comes from a worried mum who is panicking and uncertain of what to do. After noticing her daughter acting terrified to be in her own room, oh. especially while she looks at one specific part of the room, oh. her mum feels like there is someone or something present in the room. 
On one occasion, her daughter came running into her room screaming with pure terror. Seeing a woman screamed at her. She checked her room and found nothing out of the ordinary. But after checking the security camera inside her bedroom, she was left completely terrified. A sharp, horrifying scream is heard coming from the room, but her mum says she heard nothing at the time, except her daughter screaming out of fear in response to this. That, Some people. Uh, so, uh, uh, mm, see, right, okay. Most of you know, 99.9% .9 of you know, that when it comes to the ghosts, paranormal, I'm sort of a skeptic. Okay? So my default reaction is like, these are pranks. And I know that these cameras can like, you can talk to your kid about that. Like you press a button, you go, come on, it's okay, go to sleep. And I just hope that that woman didn't scream through that monitor to scare her child like that. Right? I'm all for practical jokes. And I don't, I don't believe in being too soft around children because you got to, you know, got to bring them up for the real world. Life's tough, right? But I don't know, mate. I, I just, when it comes to kids getting involved with this sort of stuff, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you reckon? People suggested that the camera may have been hacked, but she doesn't think so based on other events that have transpired in the room and the fact that her daughter stares at one particular spot terrified and not daring to go near it or is she looking at the camera because like that's happened before but she doesn't understand that that camera can speak you know sorry has a microphone seriously concerned speak, for her daughter she posted this footage seeking help on what she could do to stop this from happening and to ensure her daughter's safety you can yeah, that's the other option it, it could be it might be nothing to do with the woman right the, the mother it could have been hacked yeah and if so, if that's a practical joke from somebody, you know, trying to scare a child, that ain't good, mate. That ain't good. Hmm. But that was absolutely incredible. The whole thing was amazing. Well done. Depths of despair. What do you reckon, mate? I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.